Hey guys, I've uh, been wanting to make a video on this YouTube, on the YouTube that you're watching now, about money and like how I feel about it, about it, and like hopefully I can change some people's minds about being more frugal and saving their money because it's like super way better um, than having the mentality of let's uh, let's spend it as soon as we get it type of mentality you know it's uh, it's not good it's not good you guys you don't want to be in that position of an emergency coming up and not having the resources to pay for it obviously there's like ways um it's like you won't be dead you know especially in the western world because someone will loan you money but oh my god will you get fucked financially right you're gonna get raped real hard if you uh end up with no money because they'll give you the money you know uh, someone will give you the money, but it's gonna be pretty high price, right? It's high price money that you get when you don't have it when you need it So we want to avoid that and the way we do is by being extreme having extreme anxiety about Spending it and the way we do establish that is uh, You're just either born that way or you're not so the gut the gut is not a superior way to uh, manage money because even though it'll get you far enough like if you're the fr naturally frugal like me and you have like this anxiety when you spend money that's good but it's not the best way because what I've done is like I've uh, decided like a couple months ago that I was gonna just like take it easy and all that saving money shit and what ended up happening is down to the dollar I've ended up spending the exact amount that I make like as soon as I let myself off the hook a little bit all my money just went down the shitter um, and I, I swear to god I can't recall what I spent it on but <laughs> it's just how it works you know you you're gonna spend it on things you don't need as soon as you do that and then you you will not remember where it went it's like but but I work I work so hard I don't get what happened to it right so we don't want that situation happening we want money to um, we want money to be there in case a good investment opportunity comes up like I don't know I don't know what it is I honestly I swear to God I have no idea what it could be but it, it could come along and you don't want to be in a position of not being able to take opportunity of it uh, or or you'll have to go and get high priced money from someone else who will give it to you at a high price where you'll have incredibly high uh, incredibly high interest rates or whatever or you know they'll put you on a hook for taking some portion of your company or whatever uh, so we want we want to be frugal I think for the most part and, and, and it's a superior way of thinking because look at look at every historical example uh, where there's a successful culture that is like an elite culture uh, and is a winning culture and like like take Rome Germany Japan United States all have like this very frugal mentality uh, like Rome I mean like ancient Rome when they were like an empire you know people were like these stoic super disciplined iron people who would just work and save and and just everything they did spend was to invest and we don't want to go to an extreme but we do want to take away the good things of from these cultures and that is frugality leads to uh, successful cultures and so we know it's a superior way of thinking and doing things because every time you get a type of people that go that way you just get these incredible uh you just get these incredibly rich sustainable cultures that are capable of taking on you know uh lots of storms so to speak so uh, they're very resilient right whereas like these live in the moment cultures uh basically don't do shit. they're vi they tend to be violent aggressive cultures and i guess you know those some of the countries i mentioned are did have their moments but they did uh the countries that never make it to anywhere you know they just kind of sit there and uh, don't ever really you know nothing really happens anyway so because most of the people and I, I don't even think it's the governments I'm coming to the conclusion that it's not even the governments that fuck up countries it's the people more more so than anything else uh, because you can you can sit there and blame the government which will always do bad things that's all they're there to do is to do bad things and all you can all you can do is the right thing when you're in that in a whatever type of the, making the moral decision or making the right financial decision um like i i don't know some people complain about like the united states government overspending and stuff like that but most people in the united states live on debt and overspend and you know 
do exactly what the government does while criticizing it. So I think all a person can do, and I, th- I swear to God, I think I might, my, I'm coming to the conclusion that if, if people just were frugal and did pay off their debt and live in, within their means, what would end up happening is the government government would begin to um, change with them. Like the general mentality of the people will dictate how that country's government system behaves for the most part. I mean, obviously, all, governments just do evil shit over and over. That's just what they do. You know, because you have people up there who are given free resources to do as they wish with. It's like there's no way that wouldn't drive anyone insane. Give it, like, here's unlimited power. Here's money you don't have to work for. Go and be good. Go, you know what I mean? Like, just, like, of course you're going to get fucked up. So that's what they do, uh, even with if they even if they go with good intentions. So everyone should just save money. Uh, uh, so I'm going to go back to the point that I was saying before which is very important, don't use your gut uh, to save money or organize your financial uh, financials because I found out that uh, it can be misleading. If you don't have the exact numbers written out on how you're going to spend money, what you're going to spend it on, what's going to end up happening is, um, what's going to ha- end up happening is that, <coughs> uh, sorry, what was I saying? If you do not... Um, Oh yeah. So using your using your instincts to save money is not a terribly good way of doing it because you. you I swear to God, I, I've done this. I, like like I said, I, I I did it. I let myself spend as much money as I wanted, and I immediately topped out the amount I was spending with the amount I was earning. Right? It like it immediately became the same as soon as I stopped being I- incredibly frigid. So what I did is instead of going back to just being like paranoid and not spending money completely i just writ, wrote out a weekly plan monthly plan and goals to get things i want based on how much i was making and how much i wanted to save versus how much i was making i, writ, I wrote out uh, more of a plan to organize it so i knew what the numbers were i didn't have to guess i didn't have to just have anxiety and not spend money all the time i have the numbers i know how much i can spend monthly and still reach my goals so this is a superior way of doing things i think now this is like in this is so this that's how I think everyone should do it um, because we can see historical examples of that it working over and over again um, so that's that's basically it you know